Samsung has removed the remote unlock in SmartThings. Fine. And now what? What can you do to reset the forgotten password on your Samsung Galaxy device? Now, one option, one option is to go in here and erase your data. Uh, once you log into SmartThings, fine, and erase data, that will uh, perform a factory reset on your device. Otherwise, on your phone, you can use the hardware key to perform a factory data reset. Now, performing a factory data reset will cause your device to lose all the user's data. So you will lose all your data on the device. So to perform a factory data reset, you can press uh, on the side buttons here using the uh, volume keys and the side button. You can perform a hard reset or a factory data reset on your device. Okay, now I'm going to force the phone to uh, shut down. So press on the side button and the volume down key. Press and hold. Continue to hold. Now don't try to press on power off because when you do that, it will ask you to put in the pin, uh, which you don't know or you don't remember anymore. So we're going to hold down the two buttons and force the phone to shut down. Once you see a black screen, let go of the buttons immediately. And here I'm going to plug in the charging cable to the device. So plug in the charging cable and wait until you see the charging icon appear. So uh, make sure the cable is also plugged into a Windows computer or a um, Mac computer. So now when you plug in the cable, it's try to put up the phone. So I'm going to again, try to switch it off. I'm gonna force it to turn off. So now it is uh, shutting down and the charging cable is plugged into the phone. Next, what we're gonna do is press on the side button and the volume up key. Press on both key uh, at the same time. So press and hold on both keys, press and hold. Press and hold, now continue to hold until you see the Android recovery menu. Now, once you are in here, you can press on the volume down key and then choose wipe data or factory reset and then press on the side button to select that then press on the volume down key and press on factory data reset so be careful when you do this it will go ahead and reset your device and you will lose all your data as you can see right here if you go ahead uh, you will lose all your all your data when you do this so if I press on the sub button, and then you can see it goes ahead and wipe the data complete. Now press on the power button to restart your phone. And that's it, so you can perform a factory data reset to remove your pin and password on your Samsung Galaxy S uh, device. Okay, after this, you need to set up your device again. So I'm going to choose a region. So I'm just going to go down, English, United States, tap on OK, then tap on Start button. And then you can just agree. And that's it. So uh, if you have uh, backup your device previously, you can try to recover uh, from the backup. Otherwise, you can choose set up manually. And it says here, an authorized attempt has been made to reset your device uh, to factory default settings connect to Wi-Fi or mobile networks to verify your identity. So basically we just need you to sign back into your Samsung account and you're good to go. Here it shows I'm getting the phone ready after you have put in your Wi-Fi password. On this screen it says enter pin. Your phone was fetch reset. Enter your pins because I don't remember the pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose Google account instead. And here we put in the Google account or the phone number. Put in the Gmail account and then put in the password. So put in the password and then tap on next. Here you'll be able to set, I will be using this device or my child will be using this device. And here side, 
uh, the previous Google account on this device has been verified. So you can use this account again, or you can add the previous account. Okay, from here on, it should be straightforward. You can choose to restore your data from another device, or you can choose don't uh, restore. I'm going to restore my data data from my previous uh, backup. Then I tap on restored. And so if you have regularly backed up your data, you should have no problem. You can restore your password, but at least now you can uh, get back onto your phone. So again, this time, uh, set a pin or a password and make sure you remember it. So I'm going to set a pin. My pin will be 1234. And I'm going to use it anyway. 1234 and then tap on OK. So not as easy as the option to remotely unlock. Uh, unfortunately, Samsung has removed that feature and now it will be a, it will involve a number of uh, steps uh, for you to recover your phone and regain your access uh, to the device. And that's it. So uh, you can continue on with the process to get to your home screen. Okay, then that's it. Thank you for watching this video.